Jesus sees injustice and he does something about it, right? We see injustice all the time, right? Whether it's homelessness, whether it's sex trafficking, whether it's abuse, whether it's racial tension, we see injustice all the time. We see it, we experience it, we are aware of it. This is the two things that Jesus does every time he sees an injustice in the world. Either he clears it or he heals it. He never just allows it to remain. But what do we do when we see injustice? See, we're aware of it. But Jesus was not simply aware of it, but he also cared about it. If we pass a homeless man, what's our first thought of him? Do we think he is loved? Do we think he is cared for? Do we think he is a beauty and a creation of God? Or do we think he did something to get there? Has it really changed that much in 2,000 years? Or do we look at him and go, it's his fault? You know what's interesting there? Hear me. Is he is just as valuable to Christ as you are. God loves him just as much. He created him in the womb just like he created you. God never devalued him. You devalued him. Ugh, right? When you think about that. In the history of humanity, God has never devalued anyone for their actions or what they've done. The only way they get devalued is because we do it. And we say, no, your worth is not here. Your worth is here. Belong in the mud. Are we not called to clear injustice when we see it? Are we not called to heal injustice when we see it? We are called to be much more than aware of it. We're supposed to actually care. We're supposed to kneel down in the dirt with some people. We're supposed to love some people that everybody else sees as worthless. We're supposed to be there for the marginalized. We are called to do something great in our world and in our community.